Hey guys, welcome to the video and in this one here today, I'm going to show you how to update the official firmware in your Switch. You will be able to download the firmware, it's going to be downloaded to your SD card, then from there, you can go ahead and update your Switch and install that official firmware and you can do this all right from your switch and without making any contact to the nintendo servers you don't even need to change your dns settings if you don't want to but you can for example if you use 90 dns you can continue to use that and this will work fine now this is the short version of this video i made a little bit longer detailed version so for those of you who are new to this and you don't have that much experience with a modded switch and you want a little bit better explanation then you can watch that video the link will be down in the description this is only for people who use atmosphere i don't know if anything of what i'm going to show you will work on any other custom firmware i also did another video showing you how to update atmosphere hecate if you use hecate cheats sig patches and if you use deep sea how to update deep sea pretty much how to update all of this stuff directly from your switch so you may want to watch that video it is imperative that you update atmosphere first in your system before you update the official firmware you must make sure that this atmosphere is compatible with the firmware that you are about to install otherwise atmosphere will not work once you've done that it's also imperative that you update the sig patches if you use them you need to make sure those sig patches are compatible with the version of atmosphere that is installed in your system that video that i did covers all of that stuff so you may want to watch it the one where i show you how to update atmosphere sig patches and all of that next we will be using two homebrews for this tutorial aio switch updater and daybreak and lastly, before we begin, this is not a tutorial on how to jailbreak your system. It is assumed you already have a modded switch and that you know your way around a modded switch because this is for more experienced users. Then it is a must that you know, you know how to get files in and out of your PC, in and out of your phone, how to get files in and out of your switch and how to navigate around your modded switch and all of that stuff. It's assumed you know all of that already. So with that, let's go ahead and let's begin. All right, guys, so our first stop will be here at the AIO switch updater. Come here, grab the latest AIO switch updater zip and go ahead and download that. We do not need the two JSON files for right now. In later tutorials, I will be going over how to use these two files, but for right now, they are not necessary at all. So grab that zip. If you do not have daybreak in your homebrew menu, the daybreak homebrew, if you don't have it there, then come here to the Atmosphere GitHub and you can grab either one of these two zips. I always use the without Mesosphere one for right now. So go ahead and download that zip file if you need the Daybreak Homebrew. So once we're here at the desktop or if you're on your phone and doing this on your phone, however it is you're doing it, first grab the AIO switch zip file. Inside of it, there's the switch folder. Go ahead and extract it. Don't mess with this folder at all. Just leave things the way they are inside of the folder. If you needed to get the Daybreak Homebrew, grab the Atmosphere zip, go ahead, go into the switch folder, grab the Daybreak NRO and extract that out. You can then go ahead and take the Daybreak NRO and put that into the switch folder. You don't need anything else from these two zip files. Now go ahead, take this switch folder and put it on the root of your SD card. However it is, you normally do that via FTP or whatever other method. Let me go ahead and hook up my switch. I'm going to stream it here to my PC and I'll be right back. All right, so before you go into AIO Switch Updater, you must have an internet connection, otherwise you will not see the firmwares. So make sure you've established that internet connection first, then go into AIO Switch Updater. There's a lot you can do with this homebrew. I explained some of this stuff in the previous videos that I mentioned and that are linked in the description. And in the future, I will be doing more detailed tutorials on this homebrew. But for now, head on down to the download firmwares. They will only populate if you have an internet connection. This is not Nintendo servers. These are different independent servers, so you don't have to worry about getting banned. Also, this will not install 
the firmware. This is going to download it and extract it. It's going to put it into a folder called firmware on the root of your SD card. If the folder doesn't exist, don't worry, it's going to create it. So you can grab any of the firmwares you want, but obviously we are going to grab the latest one, which is current 11.0.1. .1. I've already done this in my previous a video in the detailed one, so I'm not going to do it here. I'll just walk you through the motions. So if you want to see all the screenshots and stuff and all of the streaming happening in pretty much real time, you can watch that video. So right here, when you hit continue, it will begin to download. Then it's going to do the extraction process and it will put the firmware in that folder. That whole process for me took about 11 or 12 minutes. It may vary from person to person, depending on how your switch is set up on your Internet connection and all of that. Once it's done, you can just back out of AIO switch updater, then head back to the homebrew menu and then we'll go into daybreak. All right, guys, now before we continue, it is imperative. You must make sure that your internet connection has been cut. So at this point, normally what I do is I just clear my internet settings. Don't go into airplane mode. Just make sure you are fully disconnected from your internet. Now, once you've done that, go ahead and go into daybreak. You're gonna select install, and then you're gonna navigate to that firmware folder, which is where your firmware downloaded to. Go ahead and select it. Then in about five to 10 seconds, the buttons at the bottom will become selectable. You can then either back out or select continue. Once you hit continue, that's it. The firmware will begin to install. The process doesn't take long, about 15 to 20 seconds. You will be asked if you want to overwrite the any files, the uh, .ini files, just hit yes. Whether you use Hecate, Deep Sea, Cosmos, or whatever, always hit yes. If you've modified your Hecate IPL.ini file, don't worry because that one does not get overwritten. At the end, you will be asked whether you want to reboot or whether you want to shut down. Pick whichever is more convenient for you. I have Hecate on the root of my SD card. It's renamed payload.bin. So when I select reboot, it just reboots into Hecate and then I launch my atmosphere. If you're not sure, just shut down, wait till the switch shuts down and then boot back into custom firmware, however it is that you do it. And that's it. You have updated the firmware in your switch. And that is going to do it for this video, guys. You know, I appreciate you watching. If you found anything here informative, useful, helpful in any way, or you just want to throw some love or appreciation towards the channel, the best way to do any of that stuff is just to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. You'll get notified when I make a video, but I've also been using the YouTube community post. So whenever breaking news comes out or something that I want you to know before I get a chance to make a video for it, I've been using that and that way you'll get notified quicker. Much love going out to everyone out there. Be careful, be safe, but make sure to have fun and we'll see you on the next one.